Yes. So, Sister, tell us what the Lord has done, and then let us rejoice with you. Tell good us what the Lord has done. Good morning, church. Good morning, good. people of the whole world. Good morning. Emmanuel. God is with us and in us. God is with us. Uh, my name is Anna Betha Dakuji. Uh, I live in Republic of Ireland, Limerick, precisely. I want to give this testimony to the glory of God and to a big shame to the devil in my family. So I'm giving this testimony on behalf of my entire family. Uh, love you, myself, and everybody in my family all over the world. Uh, on Friday, I was in my morning devotion. I was praying morning time. And I was just saw uh, my cousin's picture coming on my face, coming on my face. But I keep praying, praying. So as soon as I finished praying, I picked my phone. Then I got a voice message from my niece, Lovia, in Dublin. And she told me the sister I was in coma. And uh, they said phone was coming out of her. So I said, ah, what could that be? So I said, OK. She said she was transported to the hospital and um, they are trying their best, but it seems the fate is uh, failing. So I told her we should continue praying. The, we continue praying and the whole family, we were praying. But during the evening time, the fear became more because the people that were uh, looking after her, they were giving a negative report. They said her organs were failing. So if they don't rush her to a bigger hospital, uh, we are going to have a, a bad news. So uh, Lovia gave go ahead to transfer her to the hospital. The even say we were not having any uh, good news. So during the breaking of our 40 days fasting and prayer on Friday, so I brought her photograph to the Zoom and by the grace of God, Prophet located her picture and asked what was the problem. So in first session, Prophet asked me to put my hand on her picture and call her to come back to life, which I did. I did that. The, we have a rest assured. In me, I have a rest assured. But to my surprise, before the end of the service, about a few minutes to the service to end it, the prophet calling my name, calling me. Then they brought me to the Zoom again, and the prophet asked me to use the Rafa anointing oil, which I, by the grace of our God, I have the Rafa oil with me. So I quickly brought out the oil and. Um, I minister it on the girl. Sister Anna, listen. Sister Anna. Daddy. Please, do, do me a favor. Do me a favor. Anoint that picture that you have. Yeah. Take the oil and anoint that picture and say, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, I will not hear any bad news. Yeah. I've had enough. Right now, right here, I revive this girl. I restore him. I mean, I, re I revive this girl, I restore her, and I say, Lord, thank you. Okay, because so we are praying yeah. here, we are praying here. I was just going through a lot of yeah. things. Okay. Yeah. I was looking. Then the Lord said, I must tell you to do this right now. This is the, so, the news I'm seeing is not, it's not sounding well in my ear. So we need to cancel it. We need to cancel that news. Not sounding, it's not sounding. I have, I have the oil. Yeah, anoint it. Anoint that picture. Anoint that picture there. Anoint that picture. Anoint that picture. Anoint that picture. Anoint that picture, please. The Lord will do it. The Lord Amen. will do it. He quickened that, he quickened death to come alive. Amen. Is that 17 years old? Okay. Yes, yes, it's an attack. It's a demonic poison because they've tried to take somebody again from the family. They take, they want it. Oh, God forbid. Oh, please. As well. Have mercy, Lord. As well. Have it mercy well. on her, Lord. Your mercy, please. As well. As well. Oh, Lord, the 
Lord will handle it. <laughs> Which it was very funny and crazy. The way I even poured the water, uh, the, the, the oil on her, this is it. Uh, the picture, how I poured the oil on her. And the uh, prophet prayed again on her picture. Because prophet said what he was seeing, he wasn't a, a good signal. So God asked him to tell me to minister uh, anointing oil on her. So I did that. The, the service ended. And uh, in the morning, by the grace of God, and the mercies of God, and I got a news, a picture, a video from Lavia and from my sisters also that uh, she has uh, awakened. But still, she wasn't, when you see her, you know she's still not uh, fully awake. So I send a video of her to Prophet straight away to give the first glory to God. So by the grace of God, as we are talking now, she has been discharged. Put your hands together, put your hands together. She has been discharged. Can you repeat that word? She has been discharged. She has been discharged. Which... Now, I, I want to say this. Everyone listening, everyone watching, you have been also been discharged. From hey, any camp of darkness, your children, your family members that are sick have been discharged. From hey, that hey. prison, from that hospital, from that problem, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hey, it was, I'm really surprised because the condition, when you see that in some circumstances, even in Europe here, a person in that condition, somebody had took an uh, overdose of different types of medication that belong to the father just because of, under some circumstances, they will not release that person. That person will not even, some people, they have a, a damaged organs and they have to put them under intensive care for many days or many months. But the grace of God upon Prophet Issachar, the grace of God in all the faith materials has enabled this girl to get up, even this morning, walk by herself. Oh, I cannot keep this with me. So I said, no, I'm going to do a more uh, video uh, testimony. But because we are having the anointed service this morning, I said, no, they should give me a permission to give this emergency testimony for people all over the world to believe. And as we are also going to be uh, anointed by this Rafa oil, we should have faith. We should believe that. Number one, this sun is not a barrier. I mean, in Ireland, Vicky is in Ghana. Prophet Isaka is far away, over many thousand kilometers. But the word of God proceeded from his mouth and set Vicky free from the grips of antemidus. Indeed, affliction will not arise for the second <clears throat> time in my family because it has been too much the devil has used my family to toy like a football for many years but this little girl 17 years old because she is safe she has used her life to break every spirit of antimidate from now on in the family so everybody believe in god trust in god obey the prophets and it shall be well with all of us Amen. in jesus christ's name Amen.